Hey all, Hibo here. So uh, we finally got a premium Japanese cruiser commander and uh, she's probably gonna take over from my Mikawa here, which is the guy that's been driving my cruisers since the game came out in 2019. But uh, now we have Nachi here and uh, I've got her 12.2 from Wargaming, but we're just gonna make her 16.4 so I can show you guys uh, what difference she actually makes. So uh, first, we do the usual things here and then we also make her legendary which is like the very expensive part here is 15 universal commendations so i'm going to give her the same inspirations which i have on mikawa so obviously the one is baltimore and uh, then the second inspiration is the best i think uh, which is rune there's a few others you can use but i think rune is the best because she gives the fastest turret rotation uh, that you can pretty much possibly get in this game here uh, while still maintaining your rudder, of course. So uh, that's why Nachi is not a good uh, inspiration. She's a good primary commander because Rune is still a better inspiration and so is Baltimore. So anyway, the perks I'm going to choose are Ingenious, full speed ahead, and then you lose out on Velocious here in this line. So you're gonna get a slower build, right? But uh, you do get 2% back using the base trait, so it's not really that much of a problem. So uh, I end up choosing Deadly Assault here, and uh, then steer clear as usual in the fourth line, and fully packed. So uh, you lose about, I don't know, a knot of speed, because you don't have the Velocious skill that Mikawa has, but it doesn't matter that much to me, because I think the rudder is more important, and uh, you'll see the difference here when I look up the ships. So uh, we'll start with Atago with the Mikawa build, like one of the oldest ships in the game with one of the oldest builds. I've never changed it really. 14.3 and uh, 1.8. So uh, let's put Nachi on here and see what the difference is. So we're uh, obviously going to lose a little bit of speed, which the game thinks is really bad. So from 93 to 90, but you're 39.1 and 1.5 rudder, which is, uh, well, pretty insane. Uh, that makes Atago almost as fast with the brother as Wichita is. So uh, let's do the same thing on Maya. Again, we're gonna have a look using Mikawa here as usual, and uh, you're gonna see 2.2, 40.3. So uh, that's pretty good as well. Not quite Atago levels, but not bad at all. So we switch for Nachi here, and uh, let's have a look at the stats then. Go back, we lose three again 39.1 and 1.9 uh, brother shift. So uh, that's very very good so uh, that leaves us the opportunity to check out Yoshino which is the one I'm really interested about because this has always been borderline three seconds 3.1 seconds here you can see and uh, it's not that fast anyway so it doesn't really matter if we cut about a nut of that so uh, Mikawa switched for Nachi and uh, we should get a pretty good uh, result on this ship here so again we're down doesn't matter 37 and a half not gonna feel that at all but look at that 2.6 rudder shift with Yoshino <laughs> so I haven't tried it yet but uh, I'm kind of looking forward to actually giving it a go and see if it's gonna make as much difference as I think it is going to make because uh, that's you know pretty much that's about 20% uh, decrease so it's not the 3% that people always talk about it's like oh it's diminishing returns no it's not it's uh, <laughs> it's very good what's not good is Yahagi because it's tier 4 and a 3.8 with Mikawa. So uh, we try with uh, Nachi here. And uh, as you can see, it's not really worth the effort on the lower level cruisers because you get 0.2, which is nothing. So uh, I hope that answered a few questions here and uh, I'm definitely gonna use Nachi. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you out there.